Regulating at 8.4 kV. Turning off power supply. Turning more and more. Enabling. It's armed. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Wow, much more than that. But he said it. He kind of popped out of the top and was sitting in the second. without explosives or gunpowder. It's an electromagnetic rail gun, and until today, it had never been seen publicly. As San Diego 6's Derek Stahl reports, the most exciting feature may be the price. Target acquired. Killing track. Two, one, fire. It's the stuff of Hollywood science fiction. But now it's real. What are the guns here? The electromagnetic rail gun on display for the first time, and it packs quite a punch. When they look at this projectile going up, approaching Mach 7 out of that gun, going over 110 miles, literally, it is like taking a huge freight train going through the wall that's about 20 feet to my left at over 100 miles an hour right through that wall. The Navy showed off two working prototypes aboard the USS Millinocket at Naval Base San Diego. They fire by sending an electrical pulse across metal rails to create electromagnetic force. There's nothing explosive inside or out. So that means sailors no longer have to handle propelling charges and the safety and reliability issues related to that. The rounds can travel 5,600 miles an hour. That's about six times faster than a bullet, and they can cut through just about anything on land, sea, or air. Each projectile costs $25,000. Sounds expensive, but compared to a missile system, it's about 100 times less. And there's another advantage. We probably don't have enough missile systems. We only have so many of them on our ships. I can put hundreds and hundreds of these projectiles on our naval vessels with that gun system. The Navy will test the real guns on ships like these in 2016, joint high-speed vessels. The Navy expects to use the guns for real the following year. Navy officials say the railgun won't replace conventional missiles, which can travel about twice as far. But they say it'll be a deterrent our adversaries won't want to deal with. Derek Stahl, San Diego 6 News.